All right, today we're going to learn how to tape the elbow, and the purpose of this tape job again is to limit hyperextension of the elbow. So the position that we have our patient or athlete in is we have them bend their injured elbow just a little bit. We don't want it to be completely straight, and we don't want it to be bent real far. So we want it bent a little bit. We want the wrist to be curled, and we want to have the muscle contracted. So. We want the forearm muscles to be as big as possible, and then we want the bicep muscles to be as big as possible. Okay, so we need a tough skin. Shh, shh, shh. Elbow. Uh, we don't do. We don't need a pre-wrap from here all the way up. We're gonna pre-wrap just the spots where we're gonna put our anchors. So we're gonna pre-wrap at the middle of the forearm and the middle of our bicep muscle. So we can put have the person push against your chest or ladies put on your stomach and put uh, a couple strips of pre-wrap here and get in the middle of your forearm and we're going to put two to three anchors and again this the angle for this taping is going to be an upward angle just so you don't get wrinkles and okay, expose the big Bicep. <laughs> the challenge of working with clothes. And we put two or three uh, anchors again here. I'm not just going to go ahead and put two. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is you can relax now. I should go back in that position again. I need to measure because I'm going to make a fan because we want to support um, or we want to provide a fan so it doesn't extend all the way. So we need a fan. We're going to measure from the tape to tape. It's about good. Then, just like we've made fans before, we're going to go on a tabletop and we're going to put a total of six strips. So we're going to put it on the table. We'll put one straight. Then we're going to we're going to make a X across the tape. So we're going to go to top of one and go across half the distance of the tape. Go across the other side. Do another, whoops. Do another one half the distance of that strip. And it's okay if you make it too long because we can always cut off the excess. And then one straight down the middle. So we have a fan that looks like this. And then I like to secure the one on the bicep first. So I'm going to put that one here on the bicep on the tape. And then we just use our, get them in the position, push against. The reason why I haven't pushed against my chest is so when I tape, um, his arm stays still. And I have to keep that on the arm. Two or three strips on there. Then I'm going to pull this. If it was a little long, I would cut it so the tape would just end up on the tape. But I did some good measuring this time. You just kind of put that down. And again, we want to secure the fan on the forearm. Two or three anchors are closing strips here. Normally, again, if I was doing this, I would actually use Elasticon. I would take the strip, I cut it at the ends, split it. We call that a dog bone, split it. We will go around the forearm, then tape it, pull it down, have the other part of it go around the forearm and tape it down, and that would hold it in place. So uh, the purpose of this again is to limit elbow extension.